Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. We just had the best time in Las Vegas. That's right, Viva Las Vegas. And we had one of the best times in Las Vegas. Now, I will tell you this. Some folks go to Vegas for the gambling. Some folks will go to Vegas for those shows. We went to Vegas for those buffets. Oh yeah, <laughs> and we love buffets. And Vegas is supposed to have some of the best buffets in the world. So we oh, decided yeah. to put that to the test and give you our first 16 impressions of one of the cheapest buffets in Vegas. Versus the most expensive. Oh, and that's before tax. So kicking this comparison off between the Feast Buffet and Bacchanal, we are going to jump right into this, starting with price. Now I will tell you, the Feast Buffet is one of the cheapest buffets in Las Vegas. It actually is $9.99, and that's with a lunch buffet for the with a, a special player's card, I guess you would say. You'd have to have platinum or some higher player's card. We actually paid $11.99 for that buffet because we got the preferred player's card. And that's a free player's card that you can sign up to, which allows you perks and benefits uh, at the buffet, as well as throughout some of the shops in Palace Station. And as we said, the Bacchanal Buffet is the most expensive buffet in Las Vegas. And we went all out for you on a Saturday night. We actually paid $212 combined. So $106 a person, unbelievable. So you have a $212 bill against basically a $20 bill for two. You know, is it really worth it? We're gonna do this comparison for you and let you know. Uh, but next up, let's go to the hours and get into some more detail. The hours. So we're gonna keep this part a little bit simple for you guys, but just to give you like an idea, the Feast Buffet does open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m every day, seven days a week. Now there's a little bit more detail in terms of prices which goes along with those hours and I'm gonna put those on the screen for you guys right here. So you can actually get a good sense in terms of the times and the prices that goes into this budget amazing tasty buffet. <laughs> and the Bacchanal is actually open Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 10 p.m. and then on weekends, Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it is it is open for dinner an hour later than the feast. I will give you all the details right here as well to check out. For this wonderful buffet. <laughs> Our next comparison are the line pass and premium options of each of the buffets. When we got to the Feast Buffet, there really was not any line. And actually we looked into different options and there really is not a line pass option or a premium option. Now at the Bacchanal Buffet, it's very, very different, also very important. There's a line pass option for $25, which allows you to cut the line. And I gotta tell you, on busy nights, you need that. We got there at 6 p.m. and we were very, very lucky to have that line pass option because we could have waited for well over an hour for our table. Another benefit, at the, uh, an upsell at the uh, Bacchanal Buffet is the all you can drinks option, which is really cool. It's $15 a person for that. And uh, that's a great benefit as well. Now what we decided to do, they had this whole full VIP experience called dine like a Caesar option. Now it's a little expensive, right? You go from a $65 fee to a $98 fee per person, but it comes with the Lion Pass option, the all you can drink option, and also this really, really cool seafood tower that you gotta check out. So the next comparison we're gonna talk about are the number of stations found between the Feast Buffet and the Bacchanal Buffet. Now the Feast Buffet has six stations, and I believe it's the greenery, which is one, that's all for like the salads and things of that nature. There's the wok station, which is all the Chinese influenced foods. Then of course you have the grilling station. It's, I think it's called Blazing Grill, where you can actually have tacos or pork bellies or things made to taste. Then of course there's the vegetarian option, which is kind of the healthy choice station for vegans and vegetarians. Tasty carving station for all you meat lovers out there. And of course the just desserts, which is a high favorite of mine. Now the Bacchanal Buffet has nine stations and oh my gosh, within those nine stations, there is so much going on. It's like heaven and a food coma tied into one. And those stations are the Mexican station, the Chinese station, Japanese station, pizza station. Uh, it, the list goes on and on. Let me just show you really quick. This is the, uh, the cheek fish. Very fresh, very delicious, every which way possible. The peppers, 
are so delicious. And spicy, a little sweetness to them, but super sweet, spicy, a little savory. You can even get sushi. I mean, gosh, if you guys want, there's a sort of different sushis. These were absolutely amazing. These are the crab legs. They're kind of ones that were served initially for us. It was served on the uh, tower. This is like a soup station and salad station. They're very, I guess you would say, almost Japanese style. Oh my gosh, this is the pozole. It's like slow cooked pork with hominy stew. See what I mean? I mean, oh my gosh. There is so much going on in there. The tasty foods, the desserts, you would just get lost in there. And you just might want to. Our next comparison is the variety of dishes that each buffet serves. Now the Feast Buffet is about half the size of the Bacchanal. Yeah. The Feast is 14,000 square feet in total size, which is actually pretty darn big. Yeah. But the Bacchanal is 25,000 square feet of just goodness. Huge. It's incredible. It really is. I mean, it is huge. I can't tell you how many varieties of dishes that the Feast Buffet has. If you know, leave it in the comments below. But what I can tell you is that the Bacchanal Buffet has 500 if not over 500 dishes they serve a day it's unbelievable now i cannot imagine cooking 500 dishes no. for all those hungry mouths but they do it every damn day incredible <laughs> so it's really incredible to try all those variety of dishes you could actually get lost in there all day well on your two hour time limit and still not try all the dishes that they have in yeah, there. No, that's very it true. might be a multiple trip situation Alright, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the ability to customize your dishes. Now at the Feast Buffet, there really aren't that many options, quite frankly. You basically get what they have prepared for you, but at the Bacchanal Buffet, it is a completely different story. There's so many different areas and stations you can get your different meals customized. For example, at the Mexican Station, you can get uh, your own tacos and enchiladas made up the way you like it. You can actually have your own souffle baked and everything the way you want it. You can get crepes made up, and for dessert, you can get an amazing chocolate lava cake baked up perfectly for you just when you want it. Now, it's only fair to compare the seafood between the Feast Buffet and Bacchanal Buffet. And let me tell you, the Feast Buffet, the seafood was just okay. Now, I will tell you, we had just gotten there for the buffet for lunch and the seafood did not look as fresh to us. Now, David and I are huge catfish, fried catfish fans. And the fried catfish, I was really having high hopes for that one, but it really just tasted like breaded mush. I'm just gonna use my hand. <laughs> but this is the catfish. The skin looks really nice and crunchy. Mm. I don't really like it. It just tastes like breaded mush. <laughs> So it wasn't that great for me. But you know, there could be some other times you go there. It might have just been a bad day for the fried catfish. Now the Bacchanal, let me tell you this. The Bacchanal is known for its seafood. And when I see food, I eat it. Oh, Damn, now that, that is. That is crazy. Do you see that? It's like, that is That's insane. <laughs> exactly. Is that an appetizer or a meal? Yeah. <laughs> And boy, it did not disappoint. It was quite exquisite. And they had multiple stations from hot seafood to cold seafood stations. So in comparison between the two, I will definitely say that they're not really a comparison because of the amount and variety that the Bacchanal has to offer. It was quite the feast. <laughs> that was great. It was So continuing right where we left off with the seafood, in terms of we see food, we eat it. <laughs> uh, we're actually gonna go into the quality of the food, comparing both between the Feast Buffet and Bacchanal. Yes, and the Feast Buffet, I mean, let's face it, it's a budget buffet, right? Yeah, that's correct. Right, so you can't expect gourmet food at the Feast. Now, I will say, I think it's good quality food, yeah. um, but it's, it is hit or miss. Right? Really you need is. to really be careful what you pick, try to find the fresh items. Right, for example, I got the clam chowder. Being from New England, I got to try the chowder here in Vegas and see how it is. So I'm looking forward to it. That's and I got the saltine crackers to put in there because you got to have the saltine crackers in with the New England clam chowder. Kind of slow-mo this though, for sure.
Mmm, tastes good. It's um, it's a style that's a really thick, the thick style. Sometimes you get a really kind of a creamy, melty style. This is definitely not that. Yes. And I thought it was good. It was like kind of a comfort food, but the quality was really more like you'd get at a Friendly's or yeah, something, right? Yeah, it was really thick versus was. like a really brothy type. It was almost like plaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I actually had a dish and I think I mentioned this earlier. Um, I did mention it earlier. It was the catfish. And the catfish, I was really having high hopes because the skin looked really crispy and crunchy and it had a great scent. But once I took one bite out of that, it felt like breaded mush. And I keep saying that because that's exactly what it tasted like. Oh, man. And uh, of course, I got the rotisserie chicken, which is fresh. Oh, I love right rotisserie off the chicken. Rotisserie, and it, it smelled great, looked really good. But I got to say, it was a little dry, too. Yeah, so you, it wasn't perfect. And you even got the dark meat section, which know. is generally the yes. section that gives like, it's really juicy. Right, right off the bone. Yeah. yeah, that's a little disappointing. Right, so it sounds sure. like we're killing it, but overall, I thought it was actually pretty decent value for the money. Yeah, right, and, so. and I will say on a little high note, I did have the chicken cordon bleu, and it did not look appealing at all, but it tasted quite good. So you know, it's kind of hit or miss, like Dave was saying. You got to choose your options between which one is hit and which one is missed. But you know what? If you try them all, there's some are going to be hit and some are going to be missed. Yes. <laughs> and now to the bacchanal, and like I said, you get what you pay for. Well, we paid for it and we got it. The yeah. quality was amazing there. It really was. I mean, starting with that seafood tower, right off the back, it was just like, they really had freshest fish that you can imagine. I mean, the lobster tasted, so well, mind you, once we got past learning how to eat the claw, or, you know, oh, yeah. this is hard, what's <laughs> this hard thing? Kind of hard. Yes, yeah. But once we got past that, it really was a delight and an enjoy, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good. I mean, they had an amazing suckling pig there. I had fun oh, kind of yeah, eating God. like yeah. the leg or the calf of the thing. Yeah, but it was good. Yeah, really good hold stuff. on. Take a look at this. You have to see David <laughs> taking a bite of this thing. Take a look. Mm. I gotta tell you, that is damn good. The, the, the skin is really good. Okay, I guess I'm making a mess here. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Oh no, no, it tasted great. But it probably tasted oh, really yeah, delicious. Tasted, it smelled amazing. You know what? I will say to that effect, so was the ravioli that I had. It was a short rib ravioli. It was really, mm, really was tasty. Good. Soft and fluffy, but yet great feeling on the inside. And that bone marrow was one of the highlights yeah. for me. Putting on that cracker, thanks for that, by the way. Dave yeah. actually put it on the cracker. I didn't realize putting on the cracker would actually change the dynamic of the taste of that bone marrow, but it was really tasty. Yeah, no, I loved it. And also the pozole we had. <gasps> yes. The pozole was so good. That was kind of, really good. Starting, start, really starting off the meal. Yeah, and so they good. don't chintz. I think one of the things we noticed at the Bacchanal is when they serve you these dishes and things, they don't chintz like the hot crab legs that Dave had. No. They gave you a oh, whole goodness. assortment of some of the freshest crab legs. And it really had a lot to do with the quality of, the pre of everything else. So I just thought it was really tasty. I agree. <laughs> Related to quality is the freshness of the food, the turnover. How often do they turn over the food? And as we mentioned before, the Bacchanal has 500 dishes. And so it's an incredible operation to turn that food over. But I have to say, Tanya and I, I mean, the food was really fresh. We experienced amazing food there. It was incredibly fresh. You could see the turnover. You really don't have to worry so much about food being fresh and the turnover just not happening. Now at the Feast Buffet, it's definitely hit or miss, as we said, about the quality. That's also true in the turnover. For example, I went and I picked out some pasta because I heard they had a very good pasta at the feast, but it looked a little bit old, like it hadn't been turned over, and it actually was. It wasn't as fresh as I would have liked, and uh, so that's something you really need to keep an eye on when you're at the feast. It's really any buffet, but the Bacchanal was really amazing. Both places had somewhat of a international flair, but the Bacchanal really set it off with this. I mean, we already mentioned some of the things earlier from the many different stations and many different influences from different parts of the world that it was so incredible. Now, the Feast Buffet and all, it did have some of those slight influences from different places, but not to the, the level of the Bacchanal. So the international flair is incredible. And again, we mentioned from the Mexican to the Italian to the Japanese at the Bacchanal, just something to be mindful of if you are looking for something a bit of a different flair and spin. The Bacchanal has definitely a good quality and assortment of international flair. So 
this next one is probably one of my favorites. Well, it might be one of your favorites, depending on what's served. Well, what are we talking about? We are talking about desserts, desserts, desserts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like desserts if they include a lot of chocolate. Well, that's very true. Now, the Feast Buffet did not have that many assortments for desserts. As a matter of fact, I felt like the desserts were probably something you could probably buy in your local grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I mean, the Feast is a budget buffet. You kind of get what you pay for. That's true. But I did feel like from a value perspective, you kind of got good value for the money. Yeah, that's very true. And you actually had, I mean, it was like chocolate and chocolate. <laughs> oh no, I was happy. I had chocolate, chocolate on top of chocolate. See? It was really good. Happy camper right <laughs> yes. there. Now on the other side of the fence, the Bacchanal Buffet. Oh my gosh. There were so many varieties of desserts there. It would make your head spin. And two, you probably couldn't eat them all. Well, I could certainly eat them all. I don't know about you, but I can eat them all. <laughs> two hours, you think? Mm, Maybe four hours? That depends on who's eating them. Mm, should, it could be one. We should, we should probably do a test of that and see. I would take that challenge any day. <laughs> right? But you know, Tyna's absolutely right. The Bacchanal desserts are just unbelievable. And they're out, they're really known for their desserts as well. That's very true. I mean, and you can just see the quality of, the, of what they put oh. into those desserts. It just, it really does make you appreciate, you know, the fact that they have that many desserts. And I would certainly take that challenge like Dave said. I would certainly challenge myself and try all those desserts. <laughs> Next up, we're talking about the drinks. Oh yeah. <laughs> this should be a fun subject. Now at the Feast Buffet, we actually, the highlight for us is probably the lemonade. Yeah, I actually enjoy the lemonade and I'm one that's a little picky about that. It's refreshing, but sometimes it can be super sugary sweet. This was not super sugary sweet. It was actually very tasty. Yes, yeah, so it was really good. Now at the Bacchanal, a totally, totally different oh, story. Oh boy. We went for the VIP option, as we said before, and that included an all you can drink option. And I gotta say, we took advantage of it. Yes, and disclaimer, we did not drive, so we had nothing to worry about. No. We Ubered it all night long. Absolutely. <laughs> but it was definitely <laughs> incredible. They basically complimented you with mimosas or champagne or wine. And we even got a glass of a premium cognac, which was the final Ooh. piece to that seven course buffet. Yeah. No, it was so amazing. And I gotta say, they kept those drinks full for you. They really did. As soon as they saw the glass empty, if you did not tap and say you didn't want any more, you would look down like magic, it'd be a full glass. Voila. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> Excuse me. Madame. Oh. Thank you, kind sir. What great service. <laughs> <laughs> that leads us into our next comparison, the service. And I will tell you this, the service between the Feast Buffet and the Bacchanal Buffet, I think they were equally as great. Yeah, they were both excellent. And I'd say the people were friendly, they were attentive. They just did a great job. They really did. I felt like every time we finished with one of our plates, they were there to scoop it up. And every time our glasses were empty, whether it's water or wine or alcoholic beverages, those glasses were full, especially at Bacchanal Buffet. Yeah, that's very true. And I do have to say this as well. The general manager was definitely a definitely a highlight of the Bacchanal. Yes, I, we have to give a big thank you to Brian Merzen, who is the general manager at Bacchanal. He sat with us. He actually gave us some really great recommendations on dishes we should try, which we were able to show for you guys. They were so good. And I think I think that was like one of the recommendations was the bone marrow and oh, yeah. the suckling pig. Suckling pig. Oh my gosh. And wait, one more time. We're going to show you guys. Look, look at David. Ew. Mm. <laughs> I got to tell you, that is damn good. That, the skin is really good. Okay, I guess I'm making a mess here. Ooh, that was nasty. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> one thing I want you to do turn it up, world. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Just a minute. Before we continue, we want to let you know that we have put two awesome videos of both the Bacchanal Buffet and the Feast Buffet. And you can check those videos out by clicking the link in the description below. So this next comparison is kind of an important comparison, and that is the ambiance. And I will say this, the ambiance of a place can really make or break that place. And in this case, both the Feast Buffet and the Bacchanal Buffet really did great in showing us some of that great ambiance. Now the Feast Buffet, they did undergo some construction, which really tried to bring them up to more of a modern, fresh look. And it did do that in parts. I mean, the, the stations, they really had a modern flair, but the seating area, some of them felt a little cafeteria-ish like, as well as old school with some car and things of that nature. So that for me kind of made it a little bit of a, a different take comparing it to, to the Bacchanal, which really had like a modern type flair with 
artwork and different things all over the place. I thought it was quite impressive, even to the fact that some of the lighting fixtures were made of glasses. And I'm talking cocktail glasses. They were made of glasses. It was quite impressive, but I'm gonna have to hand it to the Bacchanal for the ambiance because it really did showcase exactly what they were trying to go for and creating that high class buffet vibe. Let's talk about location. Now the Bacchanal is located in Caesar's Palace, which obviously we all know it's on the Strip. It is a, just a great location. You can walk to it from any hotel along the Strip. Now the Feast Buffet is actually at Palace Station, which is not too far from the Strip. It's about a 10 minute Uber drive from it, but again, you can't walk to it. So overall, you gotta give the location to Bacchanal. All right, hold on y'all, we're coming. We're coming. <laughs> we're coming. Last but certainly not least, we gotta pull up a seat for this one. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Last but not least, the presentation. And we're talking about the presentation of the food at both places. And I will say Bacchanal had one of the most impressive presentations I have ever seen. Oh, unbelievable. It really was. And to wrap things up, well, I think both buffets are actually great in their own right. Yeah. Obviously very, very different experiences. I mean, the Bacchanal, top of the line, Feast Buffet, budget. But I felt like we got good value at both places. Yeah, absolutely. I think in, in terms of the value, you're right. You kind of, each place, you, you pay a premium at the Bacchanal Buffet, but it does reflect and it, you definitely feel like you're getting your money's worth. And the same thing goes with the Feast Buffet. You definitely feel like you're getting your money's yeah, worth. Yes, no, it's true. Yeah, and I, I think they both have wonderful things about them. Um, and if you're going to either one of these places, it's really an experience. Absolutely. And the kind of the way I think about it, the Feast Buffet, I would go on a regular basis, maybe multiple times a week. Good point. Where Bacchanal, it's kind of that special occasion. Yes. And go for that one special night, just really, you know, spend the money and have that amazing, amazing experience. I completely agree. And on that note, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get a every time you post something new and exciting. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that and we look forward to seeing you on the road.